Can couples therapy solve sexual problems? What is the truth about orgasm through clitoral stimulation? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, couples therapy can be effective in resolving sexual problems when based on open communication and collaborative work. Sexual therapists are trained to address sexual issues and help couples overcome challenges. Clitoral stimulation is a common way for many women to achieve orgasm. It is a highly erogenous part of the female body and can be essential for experiencing sexual pleasure and orgasm. Anorgasmia is a condition where a person has difficulty achieving orgasm. It can be caused by physical or emotional factors and is often addressed with sexual therapy. Appreciation of beauty and art. Some women find it attractive when someone appreciates and values beauty in all its forms, whether in nature, art, or music. Bacteria in a kiss. A passionate kiss can exchange around 40,000 bacteria. Fortunately, saliva contains disinfectant substances, but this may explain why a cold can sometimes spread surprisingly. Bioluminescence. Some marine organisms, like certain jellyfish and deep sea fish, can emit light during reproduction. This phenomenon is known as bioluminescence and is part of their mating strategy. Communication. The ability to communicate effectively and actively listen is important. Women often value open and honest communication in a relationship. Japanese sex culture, Japan has a unique sexual culture that includes practices such as kawaii, cute, and wabi-sabi, the beauty of imperfection. It is also known for its adult entertainment industry. Dolphins are known for their active and versatile sexual behavior. They engage in sex for pleasure, to establish social bonds, and occasionally in homosexual activities. Erectile dysfunction and performance anxiety. Performance anxiety can contribute to erectile dysfunction in men. Fear of not being able to satisfy a partner can negatively impact erectile function. The effect of light on arousal. Ambient light can influence sexual arousal. Some people may feel more comfortable and secure with dim lighting, while others prefer total darkness. The choice depends on individual preferences. Classical music's effect. It has been observed that classical music, particularly Vivaldi's Autumn, can increase sexual arousal. Scientists believe this is due to the rhythm and structure of the music, which may match the rhythm of sexual activity. Emotional support. Offering emotional support and being a good listener can be very attractive to many women. Empowerment of the partner. Valuing and supporting the growth and success of the partner is important in a relationship. Female ejaculation, or squirting, has become a popular topic in mainstream culture, including in pornography. However, its representation in the media can be controversial and may not always reflect reality. Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. Common fetishes. While fetishes vary widely, some are quite common. This includes attraction to feet, sexy lingerie, or BDSM, involving domination and submission. Hypersexuality is a condition in which a person experiences a significant increase in sexual desire. It can be debilitating and requires treatment if negatively affecting someone's life. History of condoms. Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Rome, where they were made from animal intestines. Today, modern condoms are made of latex or polyurethane and are an effective means of protecting against STIs and unwanted pregnancies. The importance of consent. Consent is crucial in any sexual activity. Individuals must give voluntary, informed, and affirmative consent before engaging in any sexual act. 
the importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. Influence of alcohol on sex, alcohol can impact sexual life. While a moderate amount can reduce inhibition and increase relaxation, excessive alcohol can negatively affect sexual function. Sexual role-playing involves taking on characters or erotic scenarios during sexual activity. It can be a fun way to explore fantasies and desires. Kegel, not just for women, Kegel exercises involving the contraction and relaxation of pelvic floor muscles are not exclusive to women. Men can also benefit from them to improve sexual health and control. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. The myth of the erogenous zone, the human body is full of erogenous zones, touch-sensitive areas that can be highly pleasurable when stimulated. These zones vary among individuals. Women and pornography. The world of pornography is not exclusive to men. One third of internet users visiting adult sites are women, and around 10 million women per month are interested in this content. A study by Glamour magazine reveals that 87% of women aged 25 to 39 enjoy porn as part of their sexual habits although over 70% keep it a secret. Musculature. Muscularity, especially in men, can be considered attractive as it relates to strength and physical fitness. Paraphilia refers to sexual attraction to unusual objects, situations, or activities. Examples include exhibitionism, voyeurism, and fetishism. Personal style. How a man dresses and presents himself can be attractive to some women. Personal style can communicate creativity and self-expression. The pleasure of hugs. Hugs are a form of physical contact that releases oxytocin, the so-called love hormone. Hugs can increase intimacy and sexual desire in a relationship. Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs, STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. U-spot. In addition to the G-spot and P-spot, some people believe in the existence of the U-spot in women, located on the front wall of the vagina and considered highly sensitive. Sex in water, whether in a pool, jacuzzi, or the sea, can be exciting, but it's important to remember that the body's natural lubricants can disappear in water, making sex uncomfortable. Additionally, water is not a good substitute for lubricant. Sex in space, NASA has investigated how life in space would affect human sexuality. One challenge is gravity, as in a microgravity environment, blood flow, and sexual response may change. Research in this field may be crucial for future extended space missions. Penis size. Concerns about penis size are common among men, but most women consider size not to be a crucial factor in sexual satisfaction. Communication and emotional connection are often more important. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.